today we are setting up my month of February in my bullet journal. So I, I had a hard time starting off this month. I knew I wanted to do some geometric mountain type stuff, but I didn't know how I wanted to do it. So I left in a lot of my brainstorming and I wouldn't necessarily say mistakes, but projects that didn't come to fruition in this video, just so you could kind of see how my process went this month. And then starting off, I wanted to include a poem about mountains. So I picked Climbing Song by Ruby Archer. And it says, away, away to the mountains away where the pine trees murmur and sway and the foamy waterfalls sing and spring over the boulders gray. The hidden beauties will lure you on till your heart from its dreaming is drawn and your eyes are bright with the free delight known to the fearless fawn. Fear not to wary, you never can tire for the sunshine gives you its fire and your feet will follow the breeze with ease higher and ever higher. I just thought that was a sweet poem to mix with my theme this month. And then I, so I attempted to make kind of a geometric mountain out of different pre-cut pieces of paper, but I hated it. <laughs> So instead, I did a little bit of doodling and, you know, pencil sketching off camera and came up with this line drawing of a mountain instead. And I ended up liking that a lot more, so I used a black pen as well as a metallic it's kind of a rose gold pink jelly roll. Um, I'm not sure what the exact color of it is, but I'll have it in the description down below if you're interested. The only thing with using these jelly rolls is that if you erase over the top of them, it really takes the metallic sheen off. And actually in this pink one's case, it makes it this like bright magenta color, which I didn't want to happen. So I tried to remember to erase as much as I could before putting down the pink jelly roll so that I wouldn't have to go over it twice and waste a bunch of ink and also potentially smear it because it takes forever to dry. So you'll see that happening throughout the video as well, me like trying to remember to erase. And then I made this like giant, I guess like sun-esque circle in the background with some metallic watercolor just to give a little bit more interest to the piece. And then I started on my monthly calendar. At the beginning, I did forget the top two squares, <laughs> but I do remember and put them in in a little bit. So don't fret, <laughs> it's fine. And then I had this beautiful pink and gold washi tape that I used because, you know, it had that kind of geometric, almost like stained glass, stained glass <laughs> type of pattern on it. And obviously the pink and gold went well with my jelly roll that I was using as a pop of color in this month's theme. Then again, I had some issues trying to decide how exactly I was going to implement my 
decorative mountains into this spread. I don't know why this was so challenging for me, but it was. It took a, I don't know, it took a lot <laughs> out of me <laughs> to do this, but I do really enjoy how it looked, so I'm glad I pushed myself and continued with this theme, even though I was having issues with it. I also used my uh, light pink Tombow as a way to write February. I am always so worried that I'm going to spell February wrong. It's just, it's one of those months that like, I just always, my gut wants me to spell it wrong, you know? But I don't think I did uh, anywhere in this month. We'll see. Maybe I'll notice it like next week. But I decided for my brain dump to keep it very simple. I am doing some more geometric mountains for my mood tracker, which I quite like how it looks. I tried to erase as I went with this because I found on the cover page it was hard to see which lines connected to where, especially since I had kind of drawn it out and then erased it and then drawn it out and then erased it again. <laughs> so there were some lines that I was like, well, these definitely I didn't want on there, but maybe these ones I did. It was confusing. But I do really enjoy the look of it as well. There are lots of inspiration photos of like geometric mountains and whatnot on Pinterest. I definitely used some for inspiration. I didn't completely copy them uh, just because it, it honestly would have been harder to completely copy them than to just kind of be like, oh, I like those shapes and I kind of like how that connects there. So I used those types of techniques instead. And then I used that same shiny gold watercolor for another little sun, which at the very end I do write mood in, but I forget right now. So, you know, I guess spoilers. <laughs> And then I have my little habits tracker. It's not all habits, so I just wrote keep track on top because, I don't know, <laughs> habits just felt like it was a lie. So that's, that's what I did there. And then I have a little reflection page that I can use however I want. And then I did do a symptoms tracker for this month. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to end up using this this month or how I'm going to implement it. I was talking to my doctor about it and we were kind of discussing how it may not be the most helpful to always be tracking all the negative things. So maybe tracking just as many positives as negatives. I'm going to experiment with that a little bit more and then try and decide what I want to do in the future. But until then, that's what I have in this month. So who knows, I might end up using it. I might end up just like using it as a collage page instead. We'll see. For my weekly spread, I did another little geometric mountain coming out of the bottom right corner. And yeah, I really, I felt like I had gotten a little bit more of a hang of it at this point, And I really enjoyed this one. It was also much easier to do it with the black pen so that I could keep my pencil lines there and then erase them afterwards instead of, 
you know, trying to see where my pencil lines were the whole time. So that was definitely helpful. And then I decided to go and outline the whole mountain with the metallic pen, which I really like that look. It kind of makes it look like a sticker or something. And yeah, I, I enjoyed it. And then using my gold watercolor, I made a little rectangle and I didn't want to do any fancy lettering for my days of the week this time. So I really just wrote out in my regular handwriting um, Saturday through the next Sunday because I didn't want to make two spreads for just an extra two days. And I find that I don't need that much space right now to plan things. I don't have that many events or tasks that I need a ton of space for each day. So yeah. And then I wrote out weekly to do, and that's where I will put my kind of overall to-do list, which I can then split up between days as I see fit. And I did write out February on the front page and I hated it. <laughs> so I tried to cover it with the washi tape, but it is not opaque. It is very transparent. So instead I just made it look kind of like faux calligraphy. I'm still not 100% happy with how it looks, but I like it better than it, than I liked it before. And that's, that's it. So much shiny stuff in this, in this setup. And I love that. I am bummed that there is a little bit of, well, there's a decent amount of ghosting from the rose gold pen. That's a huge bummer, but you know what? It's, it's just how it is. <laughs> and something I, I know about that pen now, but I enjoyed making these spreads. And you can see for this symptom tracker, I, you know, I have all the symptoms on the right hand page and that's so I can kind of fold over the tracking page before and see, you know, if there are like correlations between certain things. Uh, and then I will, you know, mark the days vertically as I did on the habit tracker. And then my weekly to-do, here's some close-ups of that. If you liked this video and you wanna see more videos like this, give it a like and please subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye.